Hi, I'm Elma Can from Curious Themes Web Development Studio, and in this tutorial we are going to go over Shopify's bulk editor feature. So to do this, we are going to go into the back end of our Shopify store and go under products. Now you're probably used to seeing this area already of all your different products that will feature in. This is just the test site that I have set up, so I only have two products in now, but if you have a lot of products added to your store, this will be really filled up. Now, you of course know in terms of editing your product, you can go individually by clicking on the product and going in and, and editing things how you would like. However, Shopify does have a little bit quicker process if you want to edit multiple things, and that's with their bulk editor. So this really does save time, especially as you grow your products in your store. Now you can't edit all of the features with that, um, but you can edit a good bit. So it is going to save time overall. So to go to Shopify's bulk editor, what we're going to do is we're going to click this to select all the products. So again, I just have two. However, if you have a lot more in your store, you'll have a link here that says, you know, select 50 plus products on this page. There's only 50 products that are shown on each of these pages. So you may have arrows at the top here, but you want to make sure that if you do want to edit all of the products, you can hit that there to link to that. And then once we're going to do that, the bulk actions here will let you do things like publish or hide the different products. However, what we want after all of these are selected is to hit edit products. So we're going to hit that. And now we're in the Shopify bulk editor. So automatically the fields that they have pulled up that you can edit are SKU, price, and compare at price. However, there are a lot more fields that you can add in. So if you hit this add fields, you can see now all of the different fields that we can add in to edit in bulk amounts. So you could edit the title, tags, uh, vendor is very helpful, or product type if you have a lot of different products that you're adding in as well as different vendors and you're wanting to keep track of all that. Another really big one is the inventory quantity. So if you add in all of your products and you have them added into your store with a certain quantity but you get a large order um, coming in and you have a lot more quantities to add in, this is a great feature that's going to save you time versus going in individually. So you can see all the different items here and let's go ahead and do the inventory quantity. So we'll just select that and now we have that field added in. You can also come in here and we can shrink the columns just a little bit. And for example, if you add all of the fields in, it'll start going really long vertically. So to get rid of that, let's say we don't need the compare at price. So I'm just going to click the X for that. And now we have these that are we're monitoring. Let's also click off the price field. So for SKU, we could come in here and do whatever SKU we want it to be. So we can just say, uh, let's say CT for curious themes dash floral and V for violet. So then that would be that SKU. We can paste that here and do a T for teal and Y for yellow. So instead of having to go in to all of those, you can just go in and easily do that. So let's go ahead and add SKUs here as well. And we'll do that same style. So we'll say French and put an S for small. And I'm just going to copy that again. So you can see how this definitely will save time, especially if you're going in and doing it for a lot of different products. And I am just going to hit save. Now, one thing you will notice is that there is a dot next to all of the ones that we have changed. So once we hit save all changes, you'll see how that edits there to show that it has been updated. So we'll hit that. And you can now see that it was changed into the check mark. So let's go ahead and add in something else. So we'll add in tags. So you may be using tags on your store. If not, that's okay. But we can go in and, and add a tag, let's say. So we don't have any tags that we're using. If you had tags that you had already set up for your store, you would have those here that you could easily select. However, let's do a tag of floral. So we'll type that in and hit enter. And then we'll also do a tag of card set. And then here we can add tags as well. And I'm just hitting enter to get that to add in. 
and we'll just hit save all changes and just like that it has been saved so sometimes it can take a little bit longer especially if you're doing multiple columns at the same time for a product as well as you know 50 plus products however this is going to save a drastic amount of time compared to going into each of the products individually and editing all this stuff so i hope that this helps you and again check out the add fields to see what other things that you can add in and edit in bulk amounts to save you time Thanks so much for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for more Shopify tutorials. Thanks.